Hey guys, for today's video, I wanna talk about the new Nude Plumping Lip Glasses from Nude Sticks. So these are 30 Canadian or 28 US dollars and you get 10 milliliters or 0.34 ounces of product. I like the Nude Sticks packaging in general. Um, it's kind of like, looks like a squeezy tube, but you pull it out and it's this um, doe foot applicator. It kind of feels, once you pull it out and you look at the doe foot, it looks like it will be a really dry formula. It's not an overly dry formula. It is slightly sticky, but it's not horrible. But it's like the applicator just kind of soaks up all the product. And um, so there is actually more product on here than you would think. Like once you put it on, it's actually quite a bit, but it looks like it's dried up. It's kind of weird. They came out with five shades, which I should warn you, they look, the shades on Sephora look very different from what it's in real life. So if you're not sure what shade you want to get, I would suggest going into Sephora and seeing for yourself if possible. If not, some of the reviews are actually pretty helpful. They describe what the shades kind of look like more in real life. There's Nude Cherry 00, which is a cool toned red. Nude 02, which is a cool toned pinky mocha. Nude 04, which is the one that I got and I'm wearing it right now, is described as a cool toned rosy mauve. Nude 06 is a cool toned dusty rose. And Nude 08, which is a cool toned brown. So they're all cool tones. They also all said with a glossy finish or something on Sephora, but I decided to leave that out. It'd probably get a bit repetitive. It's supposed to be a moisturizing lip oil with a non-sticky finish. It does feel moisturizing, like while you're wearing it, it does feel nice on your lips, but I wouldn't describe it as a lip oil. Like it's definitely a lip gloss and it is kind of sticky actually. Like it's probably one of the more sticky glosses that I own, but I feel like with the sticky gloss, you get more of the color payoff when you're applying it to your lips. Like what you see in the tube does not get lost in translation when you apply it. Like you can see the color that it's supposed to be once you put it on your lips, which I think has to do with it being more sticky. And I think that's just part of it. It's not very uncomfortable, but it is like, one of the more sticky glosses that I own. It has a minty smell and feel when you put it on your lips. I love the smell. As for the minty kind of fresh feeling, I could go with or without. It doesn't really matter to me, but I can see how it'd be kind of irritating for some people if you don't like that. The cooling feeling does go away before the product wears off though. Like it doesn't last forever. I wouldn't say it does any actual lip plumping. Like, I mean, any gloss is gonna make your lips look more plump than they were without the gloss on. So there's that, but like it doesn't actually plump up your lips at all, I don't think. I said this earlier, but it does feel hydrating and very comfortable to wear. Like when it's on my lips, they feel hydrated and nice. The hydration doesn't like last, like it's not a lip balm, it's not supposed to be, but while I'm wearing it, my lips feel very comfortable. And I really like this shade that I picked. I wasn't sure. I was kind of afraid it might be too dark, but I think it looks pretty nice. It comes off very like my lips, but better, which I kind of think is what they were going for with these shades. And I would say the formula lasts on my lips. Like you can see the color probably one to two hours, depending what I'm doing. Um, of course, if I'm eating, it's going to wear off quicker, but on average one to two hours, which is pretty standard for most glosses, I think. So overall, it's not like a mind-blowing lip gloss. It is nice. The shade selection is beautiful. Um, it's comfortable and the pigment comes through, which is probably my favorite part of it. Doesn't do any plumping. It's not like a bad lip gloss, but it's not, it's not like a mind-blowing lip gloss. So I think the price point for some people might be a bit high. Like you can find lots of other glosses out there for cheaper. But if you're looking to try this one out, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Yeah, overall, it's like a pretty, pretty standard lip gloss. Like it's not incredible or mind blowing or anything, but it's really not bad. And it actually is like, it's a pretty nice product. I think my favorite thing is like the pigmentation that you get because that is often lost with lip glosses. Like they look so good in the tube and you have high expectations and then you put it on and it's so sheer, you can't even see what the color is actually supposed to be. I'm pretty happy with it. I think if you're looking into this product, you won't be disappointed. But for the price, like there's totally other lip glosses that probably do similar things. Well, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.